Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to get started with GitLab. And so we're going to go to gitlab.com. And then if you don't already have an account, and don't click get free trial, but instead click login over here. Okay, and then you're going to click register now. And then you can register here. Say you're not a robot and register. Okay. Um, if you have any issues with that, you can contact me and I'll uh, help you sort that out. Um, anyways, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. And you got an invitation to the project. You should see it under here. So if you submitted your volunteer thing, then you have an invitation for the confidential one. Uh, but right now we're just going to look at the, uh, the public one. Uh, so here we're going to be adding some minutes. So the secretary is, is generally in charge of the minutes. And so you see I clicked on BGOS. And then I click on minutes over here. And uh, you see these are all the minutes. And um, here the last ones was in uh, the coordination meeting minutes. And now we're going to add, as you see there's this little plus sign over here. Okay, so uh, we're going to upload a file. Uh, and it's in my downloads. Here it is. Open. Okay, uh, uploaded new minutes. Okay, and we're going to upload the file. Don't worry about the target branch, it's going to be the master. Okay, and so now hold on. So over here, the uh, name is not fitting the uh, convention, so we want to rename it 2021 10 dash zero seven uh, dash draft minutes. Okay, so we're going to click on Web IDE over here. Well, we clicked on the file. Now we clicked on Web IDE. Then we got, go down here, and then you there's a drop down menu, and then you click rename and move. Okay, rename. Okay, and then we're going to rename it here. Twenty twenty one. Dash ten dash zero seven draft minutes rename file. Okay, and now we're going to commit the change. Okay, you see, you see, it's been changed, but we still have to commit the change. Um, and so we see this is the uh, default message, and that's that's good enough. And but we want to commit this to the master branch. Okay, the master branch is the main branch. We don't need to have multiple branches uh, at this time. And so we're just going to commit. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, no. Well, okay. It, it says error occurred while loading the file content. Don't worry about that. That's just because it's the docx and it doesn't have a docx in interpreter. Um, so if later on you want to, uh, what do you call it, uh, change it, you can uh, download this one, make some edits, and then upload it again. And uh, it will ask you if you want to replace it. Uh, or you can delete the old one and then uh, upload a new one and uh, that will work. And the idea is why this is better than uh, we're just, anyone can edit it all together is that we know who made what changes. Um, now, I know in a perfect world, no one would ever do anything um, that was not right or make any kind of mistakes, but well, we don't live in that kind of world, so sometimes people delete things by accident uh, or make some changes uh, that they're not supposed to, uh, either intentionally or unintentionally, but because of uh, we have this Git, there is a history, um, and so you can actually 
Okay, so let's say we wanted to look at the history. Uh, so we can just look at the history, um, and you can see here I updated. Here uh, added new minutes, added minutes, added minutes, added minutes. So, so this is all the history of everything that's happened in this folder and who made the changes. Um, and uh, you, well, you see, I got two accounts. One is Andrew, one is Morgan, and one is Libra IT. And um, basically, uh, you, we can see who did what. Uh, and that is a great benefit for uh, doing policy, uh, managing policy for a group, a disparate group of people, so that you know who did what. Um, both so you know you could do uh, give give credit where credit is due as they say all right okay i think uh, that's enough for now and another thing is obviously um with the history you can uh, actually go back and then uh, see the uh, changes uh, that were made and if you guys really want to uh, make modifications in the folder um, that is also possible uh, like so that you'd be able to see it we would just have to make these um, text files and then you would be able to see them um, so I don't know if I have some so so say this readme okay it's a .md file and see it has these nice little headings okay and then we can actually edit it right here and see the headings it has these two little things okay and then you put in the paragraph and then you have a space in between your paragraphs and um, and then uh, you know, so I don't know if I need to add any make any changes so um, but I, d I don't really, but I can, I can like commit changes here. Okay, there we go. Okay, and see your changes have been successfully committed. So, and then you can see everything is just fine. Uh, and then you've got these nice little headings. And it was all in text, so it's very little space, and you can edit it in the IDE and we know who changed it and uh, all that stuff great okay and then we can see what the latest update was in here you can see look oh see it's uh, land claims land treaties there you go that was a, one of the latest changes that was made um, okay all right so uh, I hope you have a little better understanding of GitLab now um, and are more interested in using it. And uh, one of the other benefits, of course, is that uh, because it has this f nice folder layout, you know, there's the BGOS, the GPC, the GPO, you know, we can like see here's the constitution and then uh, the GPO, you can see the constitution and the policies. And uh, so the Global Greens, you can see the Charter, um, and Elections Canada, there's like the Political Financing Handbook. So that way, if you have some kind of uh, stuff for, um, you know, informational stuff, then we can just put it in here, and then everyone has access to it. And then, um, so here's the logos, you know, there's the bylaws, the Constitution, I mean, and the, and the, the README is supposed to explain everything um, and that's that's over here and it's the same format as the other one uh, it's very should be very straightforward um, you know you just click on it and then you can click edit if you need to edit it all right okay that's enough for today <laughs> okay bye-bye